This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Spark Plugs Replacement While you are waiting for the engine to cool, check the new plugs for defects and adjust the gaps if necessary. The gap is checked by inserting the proper thickness gauge between the electrodes at the tip of the plug. Spark plug manufacturers recommend using a wire type gauge when checking the gap. The gauge should just slide between the electrodes with a slight amount of drag. If the gap is incorrect, use the adjuster on the gauge body to bend the curved side electrode slightly until the proper gap is obtained. If the side electrode is not exactly over the center electrode, Bend it with the adjuster until it is. Also check for cracks in the porcelain insulator. If any are found, the plug should not be used. Loosen the cable nut from the negative battery terminal. Then disconnect the negative battery cable. Position the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. With the engine cool, remove the spark plug wire from one spark plug. Pull only on the boot at the end of the wire. Do not pull on the wire. Also release the plug wire from the retaining clip. If compressed air is available, use it to blow any dirt or foreign material away from the spark plug hole. The idea here is to eliminate the possibility of debris falling into the cylinder as the spark plug is removed. Place a spark plug socket over the plug and remove it from the engine by turning it in a counterclockwise direction. Before installing the new plugs, apply a thin coat of anti-seize compound to the threads. Install the spark plug using extra caution to avoid cross-threading. It's a good idea to slip a short length of rubber hose over the end of the plug to use as a tool to thread it into place particularly if the cylinder head is made of aluminum. The hose will grip the plug well enough to turn it, but will start to slip if the plug begins to cross-thread in the hole. This will prevent damaged threads and the accompanying repair costs. Tighten the spark plug to the specified torque setting. Connect the plug wire to the new spark plug using a twisting motion on the boot until it is seated on the plug. Also attach the wire to any retaining clips. Repeat this replacement sequence for the remaining spark plugs on the left cylinder bank. The rearmost spark plug may require the interfering brake line bracket fasteners to be removed and the metal brake line assembly to be carefully pulled aside to gain better access. When disconnecting the rear plug wire, a plug wire removal tool may have to be used. If removed, attach the brake line brackets to the body and tighten the fasteners securely. Replace the right side bank of spark plugs using the same process described previously replacing them one at a time to prevent mixing up the spark plug wires. Connect the negative battery cable to the battery terminal and tighten the cable nut securely.